in this certain generation, the kids are not to be blamed in maintaining our fields of green. It is mostly the fault of the human race. As we are aiming to climb up and improve technologies as fast as a thunderstorm, we are also destroying the world in many ways. Our environmental temperature is turning hot as a burning fire in results of our abused ozone layer. Non-potable water that is overly mixed with chemicals from irresponsible factories. And breathable air that is certainly polluted, making the Earth an unlivable planet in the future. The ones who will benefit in this entire project are not just you and me. Let us stop being selfish and start thinking that we are not the only ones who are living in this planet, that we are only one of those who have the right to live in this world. Only selfless love can bring a hundredfold, and through love we act to protect the race, our race, and the entire living thing that deserves to live. I believe the schools are teaching the youth about cleanliness and orderliness. I am also confident that the teachers are also striving out about how to maintain a greener environment and how to dispose waste properly. But the children are never forced to do so. This is a lack of discipline. This project focuses more on pushing and inspiring our youth to become more responsible in taking care of our environment. This is to make them understand that the future of this planet lies in our hands. And when we say our, it includes them. Age is never a reason to become complacent and irresponsible, to just throw garbage everywhere. It is about how you embrace them with discipline and understanding that the world is in the palm of our hands. We start showing the youth the right thing to do, and they will grow up with grace. If we do this now, these kids will do this tomorrow, and the kids of tomorrow will do the same thing in the next generation. Proper cooperation and effective relaying of information, I must say that in a year, there should be an improvement. It takes a lifetime commitment to maintain a greener environment. For the past years, Cebu had been experiencing floods, especially in the downtown areas, even if it is just a simple rain. Though Cebu is already working on making the drainage system larger and much more effective, this development will not last long if the major problem won't be fixed. Aside from the fact that there are no much trees in the downtown area, to help in water absorption, garbage are everywhere. These garbage are blocking the passageways of the rainwater, making our even much advanced drainage system useless. There are a lot of factors why floods are covering the cities. That includes trees are cut off, fields of green are not visible anymore, and drainage systems are blocked by garbage and filthy unreasonable things as how busy we are to beautify our city with buildings and establishments. We never realized how reckless we are in killing our green environment. My advocacy focuses on children. These children are the people of tomorrow. The value of their existence isn't about the material things we can provide them, but it is about how we are going to raise them with love and belonging. Real love is never unreasonable and complacent. Real love drives us to teach them good learnings and provide them with genuine experiences that could build a brighter tomorrow, making this world greener and a better place to live.